Okay, we'll get started with the Baylor Bears. Joining Coach Scott Drew, student athletes Caleb Lohner and Adam Flagler. Coach, please make an opening remark on today's game. Well, we knew it was going to be a hard-fought game in every game in the NCAA tournament. Uh, um, it's a blessing whenever you win. Thank God for giving us an opportunity to play, and uh, uh, no one got hurt. And uh, um, really credit to uh, Santa Barbara first half for uh, running great offense, hitting shots, and then uh, credit uh, our guys second half for making some adjustments and uh, really dialing in defensively. And helps when you got veteran guards and uh, Adam and LJ, um, uh, and then. Uh, Caleb really gave us a great lift. Uh, he always is tremendous on the glass and defensively and uh, offensively. He, he really was uh, productive and taking the right shots, right times. OK, we'll take questions. We have one here on the right side on the aisle, row two. Hey, Scott. Kyle Newman with the Denver Post. Uh, another tournament win. Do you ever kind of reflect back 20 years ago when you took over this program to now and, and yeah. this kind of success becoming routine? Yeah, there's really no reflecting, especially uh, uh, in the middle of this tournament. And once you once you uh, reflect, then then you're done. So, uh, one thing that did hit home to me was when they said it was a 25th anniversary of my brother's shot. And then I thought about it. None of our guys were born when that happened, so I really felt older at that point. But that's the only reflecting that'll be done. Other than that, um, love these guys, and uh, we want to coach them as long as we can. And uh, uh, God's given us a great platform. We'll see how long we can go with it. First row here on the left. John Warner, Waco Tribune Herald. This is for Caleb. Uh, you obviously played at altitude at BYU. Is there some secret to that? And what did you guys do defensively in the second half? <laughs> me, and, me and Coach Drew actually had this conversation yesterday. <laughs> yeah. And I told them that we should be drinking 10 to 12 water bottles. I don't know if that's an exact you know, scientific number that you should be drinking. But I think um, we have a great staff. It's all helped us stay hydrated. And we've been doing kind of the proper work to you know, help our lungs and oxygen levels during the game. And so I think we were good in that area and, you know, grateful to be able to move on to the next round. What he didn't take into account when you get in your 50s, that means you're waking up three or four times to pee in the middle of the night, right? So. <laughs> we'll go in the, uh, on the right side on the aisle on third row. Hey, Adam, uh, Pat Graham with Associated Press. I, I just wonder, not to bring up last year, but how much did last year maybe prepare you for a tight game this year and knowing the confidence that you could, you could put this one away? Uh, you know, it prepared us a lot, I think, for, you know, the guys coming back. Uh, you know, I prayed <laughs> to God, and I'm just thankful that I'm able to come back and uh, be with this group of guys because they definitely put a bad taste in my mouth, you know, losing last year. But, uh, you know, it's definitely a new opportunity, and uh, we got a group of guys that are hungry and excited, so we can't wait to keep it going. Okay, we'll go on the left side, fourth row on the aisle. Uh, hi, Scott. Matt Benizia, Cronkite News, uh, right here. Um, Congratulations on the win. I had a question about your family um, with GCU being here as well. Yeah. I, I got to talk to Homer, your, your dad, and your sister earlier today. Can you describe maybe the emotions of having so many different people in your family here to support, maybe how unique the situation is that you have so many members of your family here in Denver? Yeah, it's great because you get extra coaching advice, you know. So <laughs> but but uh, uh, it, it's truly a blessing to be at the same site. Uh, parents are getting older. It's harder for them to travel, so it's great that it's in one site. Um, We'll be preparing for our next game, but uh, obviously be cheering like crazy for GCU, and we'd love for uh, both of us to stay till uh, a Sunday together. And uh, so proud of my brother and the the program they have. I mean, they got they got great uh, young men, and um, they're helping them grow uh, uh, spiritually, character wise, and on the court. And they're playing good basketball. Go down here in the front row on the left. Yeah, this is again for Caleb. Uh, you, you scored a, a season high 13 points today. Uh, how did it feel to get back in the groove and uh, you know just play that much and contribute so much? Yeah, first of all, I want to thank my team. I want to thank the man above, you know, for giving me the opportunity to play this game. And you know, I'm just so grateful for all the teammates that I have and coaches that have you know instilled confidence into me. And um, you know, I was ready when my number was called. And I think my role on this team is just to do whatever I can to help win. At the end of the day, today was a day that I needed to step up a little bit and. You know, I'm so grateful for that we can be moving on and keep playing basketball. Well, on the right side, second row. Scott, uh, back to your dad. How has that relationship evolved? Obviously, you came up coaching under him. Do you still talk to him after games? How's that kind of working now with Homer? Oh, yeah, he, he, he's a Hall of Fame coach. That doesn't go away. And uh, uh, the great thing is he knows how to uh, approach me, too, when, when I need encouragement. 
uh, when I need to get uh, uh, tougher, motivated. And I mean, he's got great advice. He says, uh, uh, "Get Adam the ball." And uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, he loves our players, loves their character, um, loves how hard they compete. We're on the left side, third row. Hey there, Caleb, this is for you. Uh, Michael Haig, Baylor Larry. It just how, moving forward, how much of a confidence boost is this for you, you know, especially after conference play and kind of how that went? Um, you know, it gives me confidence, but I think at the end of the day, the real confidence just comes from the group of guys I'm around every day and just staying ready and doing what I can to help. And hey, we'll go in the third row on the right side. Coach Pat Graham from Associated Press. I guess uh, you held a, uh, a very good shooting team to 30% in the second half. I guess yeah. well, how do you explain? Can you explain that at all? Yeah, play, players deserve all the credit. I thought uh, uh, our bench really did a good job, in, in especially in altitude. Uh, uh, having a deep bench helps in early morning game. Um, and I thought uh, uh, second half, they, they had some good looks, but they were short on shots. We got short on shots at the end as well, but uh, really credit the guys for locking in defensively. And um, I, think, I think, again, without the bench, they don't, they don't play as many as us. I think we're able to wear them down a little bit. Here in the front row on the left. Uh, this is for Adam. Um, like Coach Drew mentioned, played much better defense in the second half. Was a lot of it that's just a matter of uh, bearing down a little more? And how did that kind of help the offense run more smoothly? Uh, it was huge. You know, I felt like we were together and connected and flying around for one another. And uh, we know in this tournament, especially, you know, to win just one game, you know, defense wins game. So at the end of the day, we want to pride ourselves on that and be better. We have a new opportunity, you know, with this game and then the next game to show that. So we'll stay on the left hand side over here, third row. Yeah, uh, Adam, just talk about AJ Mitchell, how tough it was to maybe contain him a little bit. You seem pretty dynamic out there. Uh, yeah, he's, he's definitely a high level guard. Um, you know, for him to be a sophomore is very surprising, you know, the things he's able to do out there. But uh, I think it was, you know, credit to our teammates. Uh, it was a, I think, collective effort out at the end of the day. You know, we uh, were flying around, you know, giving him different coverages to make him make it tough on him. So, I'm just thankful for my teammates for just honing in and locking down. So, the right side, row two. Adam Kyle Newman from the Denver Post. What was uh, Coach Drew's message at halftime? How did he got, how did he kind of keep you guys calm, but also knowing what you what you need to do better in the second half? Uh, you know, he just pointed out the the three keys at the end of the day. We have three keys. Um, you know, defensive percentage, rebound, and then turnovers. If we can get at least one of them, we have an opportunity to win. And uh, first half, we weren't doing that at a high level, so we wanted to come back in se second half and show that. So, I mean, he really came in there and, uh, you know, provided the energy. And, and at the end of the day, we just had to go out there and show effort. So, Follow up on the left side. Yes, Scott. You know, Dale checked in with his jersey untucked. Uh, or, I'm sorry, inside out, actually. Um, just has, is that I one thought of the, it was his shirt underneath. Was it that? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay. Was that kind of weird? I mean, just kind of see that a little bit, or is that? I, I told him it was a great opportunity to show his muscles to the nation. So that uh, <laughs> maybe he's a genius for that. We'll go down here in the front row. This for uh, Coach Drew. Um, you guys played ten players. Uh, I, I guess obviously that probably helps on a couple levels. Yeah. Uh, you, you needed it for the altitude, and mm -hmm. it probably helps down the road. Can you maybe just talk a little bit about that? Well, I think uh, this is the time of year where uh, um, you got to give 100% uh, or you're going home. And uh, we thought with the altitude, we definitely wanted to. Uh, um, and, and our guys have played all year together, so they know their roles. Um, they know what to expect. Uh, and, and coaching staff has confidence in them. And as Caleb said, uh, the players have confidence in each other. And if everyone goes in and gives all they got, um, we can live with the results. Stay on the left-hand side in the back. Hey, Caleb Arney Stapleton from Associated Press. Um, I see you got 13 points today, and the only other time you did that, uh, double digits, was way back in November. Can you just speak about, you know, I don't think you missed a shot today. Could you speak about your performance in the NCAA, you know, tournament? Yeah, I think just staying ready, you know, continue to get better every day, no matter whether play a few minutes, play 20 minutes. Um, our goal at the end of the day is to win. And I think tonight was a night I could help out. And I want to give all credit to my coaches and teammates just because I think I was put in great opportunities to be successful. And at the end of the day, God gets all the glory. And this team, you know, so proud of them. And uh, we're excited to get that win. And a proud coach, one thing I'll say, it's great to brag about guys when they do the right thing. And Caleb 
all year long, if he played two minutes, if he played 20 minutes, um, worked really hard, um, was a great teammate on the bench. So uh, for coaches, it's so so rewarding for us when someone does well because they've done the right things. And I know his teammates feel the same.